What's up everybody, it's Just That Officer, and welcome back to another video. Yes, I do have duct tape on my shirt because I've not figured out how to blur it in editing. Before we get too far in today's video, I want you guys to know that I am not currently working, I'm not on the clock. All right, I had training today, and after my training, I decided to do this video. Just so you know that I'm not getting paid while I'm making these videos, I am not on the clock right now. This is me just personally doing this uh, to show you guys how these things work. Not on duty. Cool, thanks, back to the video. You ever wonder how police catch you speeding? Well, we use two different devices. I'm gonna talk about those today. But before we get into that, I'm gonna to explain to you what the process is uh, in getting speed certified as a law enforcement officer. And this is in the state of Florida. I don't know how it works in other states. This is how it works here in Florida. So, what you'll do is you'll go to the academy. Nope, they don't teach you speed measurement in the academy, which is something I think they probably should do, but they don't. So, once you complete the academy, you come out and get hired with the department. You gotta be hired with the department, go to the speed measurement course. All right, you get hired with the department and then you're gonna put in for a speed measurement course. Now they're hosted at various different colleges and different academies and so forth. Uh, just make sure that you put yourself out there to find one. Uh, some departments won't go out looking for you for training. Um, you need to put yourself out there and find it. Or if you wait for your department to find one, it's probably gonna take longer than it needs to be. Um, with me, with all the people that are ahead of me for getting speed measurement, it almost took me two years uh, just to get speed certified. So get on it as soon as you can, uh, find a class and sign up for it and get it done. It's a 40 hour course. Once you complete the 40 hour course, then you're good to go. All right, so during that 40 hour course, uh, you go through several processes. You'll go through, over, you'll go through classroom work, uh, which will kind of explain uh, how each device works and the science behind them. Now, you don't need to know the science uh, for court purposes or any reason like that. Um, it's just so that you are aware how the technology works. All you need to do is know how to test it properly and make sure that it's working well. So we do a function checks before and after every shift to make sure it's working properly. We document that. So we have all that records for court if we ever have to go to court for it. So we document every, every, um, every time we come in the shift. We do both the radar and the laser if we're gonna use them for that day. So that makes sure that they're working properly. Those function checks uh, tests work. All right, so as soon as you turn on a device, it'll run through the testing process normally. And then there's other ways that you can test it. And I'll go over those when we go over each device. But anyways, in the class, you're gonna do the classroom stuff. You'll go over the scientific stuff. I'm not gonna go over all that stuff. You can look it up, but basically you go over that stuff and then you're gonna go hit the road. All right, they're gonna split you up into different units and you're gonna go out on the road and you're just gonna practice with this. What they want you to do is they want you to practice your speed visually. So this is what you're trained in as when you go to that course. You're trained to detect the speed visually. So you just by looking at a car, you need to be within five miles an hour of that, of that vehicle speed to pass the class, all right? So what you do is you look at that car, you'll say, all right, it's going 45. Activate the radar, it's going 43. All right, you're good. You're within that five mile an hour zone and you can pass the class, all right? What it's doing is basically you're visually estimating that vehicle and you're using the radar or laser to confirm that vehicle's speed. All right, that's what it is, it's a, it's a confirmation. So that's how the test is gonna work at the end of the class, all right? So you go over hours and hours of just visually estimating vehicles and then you guys kinda all get into a bus, at least we did, and we go around and we grade each other on how, uh, how, much, how well we detect speed. Before we get into the bus, uh, we actually did the side of the road test so we'll sit on the side of the road, you'll be with the instructor, and you'll have to call out that speed and he'll use the radar to say, yep, it's that exact speed or it's within five miles an hour and you're good. All right, so you'll do that several times. I believe they've made us do it about 20 times to make sure that we are fully accurate um, before we move on to the next step. The next step was going into the van and that's moving radar. Um, so that shows us how we detect vehicles while we're moving. We're basically visually estimating speed while moving. So that's a little bit more difficult um, but we had to do the same thing with we'll the guess within five miles an hour and we get signed off on that after doing about 20 of them. So you'll go through that and then they'll go over laser and how that works. All right. So laser is a lot more simpler uh, than radar. It uses light. Um, but yeah, they'll go over that. You'll have to detect this, uh, estimate the speed, visually estimate speed on that. And they'll use a the laser to make sure that it's 100% accurate on that vehicle. Now make sure that you're talking about the right vehicle too and not just guessing uh, whatever vehicle it is or or whatever it was like oh yeah it's that yellow hummer right there or something like that all right so basically you go through all that then you hit the road and you're good you're certified all right so now what happens after that so is the radar just good after that do you need any more training 
nope, you don't need any more training, all right? After that, you're done with training. Basically, you train yourself every day. So after that, you're out here, you, you basically, you, you check your radar, make sure it's working properly, you know, before and after every shift like I taught before, and that's it, all right? So as long as it's working properly, you're good. If you have an issue with it, you will be able to tell, um, and we'll send it back and so forth. So, so not only do we check it before and after every shift, every six months, we have these tested uh, by an outside agency. Basically, they'll come in and they'll test our vehicles. So if you didn't know, law enforcement vehicles, uh, they are certified in their speed. So basically our speedometer is accurate to speed, true to speed. Um, this gets tested by an outside agency every six months along with our radars and lasers. So they come in, they have their fancy tools where they, they, you know, they can use these tones and everything like that to make sure that the radars and lasers are working fully properly. So um, yeah, so we do several, several things to make sure that these radars are working good and so they're always working good. Um, so we get a certificate with that and we keep that in our folder. Basically, I have a folder that has all my radar logs and laser logs and shows that it has been tested by an outside agency in the last six months. We don't test them. It's an outside agency. We pay to do it. So, yes, yeah, so that's the basics there. So what two devices do we use? So this one right here is the Stalker. Uh, it's a radar. It's just called a Stalker 2. It's the uh, newest, newest version, I do believe. Uh, there might be a newer one I'm not aware, but this is the one we use. All right, so this is the radar one. So radars work off of radio waves. All right, they send out waves to the vehicles and they bounce back and they determine the speed. All right, it does all the work for you and all the scientific cool stuff that I don't really know about. But yes, basically radio waves bounce off, come back. It's called the Doppler effect and that gives you your reading. All right, so now you're probably like, well, <clears throat> what if there's a bunch of cars and you're radaring and how do you tell which car it is all right so this is where visual estimation comes in all right so we're going to visually estimate and usually so most of the time you can see that vehicle is approaching a lot faster than the other vehicles all right so you're going to get on here and you're going to see see how it says pass on there i did an internal test as well so it does an internal test pass right here and this right here f c l o is forward and closing so front and closing so that's mainly what we do here so hold it down you can hear that that tone right so the higher the pitch the faster that vehicle is going all right so this is what we're, we're making sure that it's a solid tone when we're listening to it so we're watching we visually estimate a vehicle you know say our vehicle's going 70. you know pull the trigger to confirm it i'm going to confirm it but i'm also going to make sure that it's a solid tone all right that means it's coming the frequency is coming back solid it's, it's there's no interference if there's any kind of interference, you'll see the numbers kind of fluctuate and we can't get an accurate reading and we can't go off that. So right here in the target area, that's gonna be your target vehicle. That's gonna be your front vehicle. And then right here is where it says lock and fast. All right, that's where we can, it shows the fastest speed. All right, so if there's a vehicle that's in front that's going slower, but there's a vehicle that's behind that's going faster than that front speed, then it's gonna show up right there. And we're gonna be able to visually estimate that vehicle's coming at that speed. All right, so. Then right here, why does it say lock? It says lock because we can actually lock that speed in by hitting this button right here. And it'll, sh it'll keep it all locked on there so we can show the driver, hey, you were going this fast. All right, so right here you'll see patrol. Now this is gonna be in moving radar. So when you're moving, I usually have it on the dash. I'll show you guys that. But yeah, while it's on the dash, you have the uh, patrol right there. That is the patrol vehicle speed, all right? That's gonna show the speed. So basically to make sure that that's working right, you'll match it with the speed of your speedometer. As long as that's working right, then the vehicle that's approaching, that speed is gonna be accurate for sure. All right, so if you're staying, you know, right here, STA, MOV, this is the button we press here to go from stationary, so we're stationary, uh, to moving. So if I switch it over to moving, you're going to see it changes uh, to FOPP, so forward, opposite. All right, so basically that's me going forward, traffic going opposite. So that's if you're moving. All right, so right here in this zone here, that'll be your vehicle speed, and then you'll see the target speed over here. All right, so with this, so if you're stationary and say that you got a vehicle that is going the opposite direction, so they're going away from me. So if you didn't know this, we can get you going away from us too. So a lot of people don't know that. All right, so going away from you, we can change right here. We can hit this button right here. It says both directions. So we'll hit that and you twist this to, you can hold it for both directions. So I can hold it down and it'll do both directions. So 
So if I hold it down like this, all right? So if I hold it down like that, you'll see that it says forward both, all right? So it's gonna give me both directions of speed. So it's gonna get going away and going forward. Well, how do we tell which one's going away and which one's going forward? It'll show up little errors next to the numbers here. Uh, then I'll show you which way the vehicle's going. So if the vehicle's going away, go up, it's going towards you, it's go down, all right? So that's how we do that. And then we can just hit it to away and we get vehicles going away. All right, so that's the general functions of all this. You can change the lighting on here. You can change the volume, uh, how the Doppler tone comes out. You can't turn it off, uh, but you can change the volume and everything like that. We need to have the Doppler tone. All right, um, so yep, that's the radar that we use. All right, so this is the laser or LIDAR, so which is a light detection and ranging. Uh, so basically this uses light. So it doesn't use waves like the other one, it uses light to reflect back. Now it does this at extremely high rate of speed. So light travels at what, 186,000 miles per hour per second or something like that. It's, it's fast, all right? So that's what's happening. So I basically, I put this on a vehicle and there's a little dot in there and I put it right on the front of the vehicle and it's that exact vehicle that's reflecting that light back to me. So it's a short burst of infrared light bouncing off that vehicle directly back to this unit very fast and giving me that reading. All right, so these are really, really hard to dispute in court. All right, so this is right on your vehicle, right on the front of your vehicle. All right, so I put it right on the front of your bumper, your specific vehicle. There's no doubt about it that it's any other vehicle. It's your vehicle. All right, so you turn this one on as well. It will do a self-function test. There you go. It passed, all right? You got your battery life, you got your miles per hour, and then you got your feet, all right? So this is gonna tell you your distance. So what I love about this is that it stays on the screen, all right? So it's easy, it locks your speed, and it'll show the speed on there, so 60 and what distance they're at when I got them. This is one of my favorite things to use because it's so accurate and it's the exact vehicle that you put it on, all right? So there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's the vehicle. So this one's also made by Stalker, the Stalker RLR LiDAR device. Um, this is the one that we use. All right, so now how do we test these devices? So you're curious, they did the internal test, right? I showed you how they did the internal test. All right, so we also test them a little differently. All right, so with these, we test these by measuring the distance, all right? So we'll take a sign, it has to be a reflective sign, so it reflects the light back off. So we have these set at certain distances at our police department where we can actually sit there and the light will reflect back. And as long as we're reflecting at the accurate distance, then these are working properly. And as long as they pass the internal test as well, all right? So that's how we do that one. There's not really a way for me to show you how to do that, uh, but I can show you how we test our uh, radar. All right, so what we have is what's called tuning forks, all right? These are tuning forks. These little metal things here actually test our radars. So as you can see on them, they tell you what miles per hour they are rated at, all right? So this one right here is at 40, 40.25 miles per hour. They have kilometers on here as well. Uh, and then 25.25 miles per hour. So basically, that's what these should read once you hit them and show them in front of the, on the radar. And that'll show that it's producing the accurate speed. All right, so what we'll do is we'll chime these off each other. So this is the 40 mile hour one. All right, so I got it ringing. I activate it and it reads at 40, all right? So I'll do it again so I can show you guys. See that? So that was 40 miles an hour. Perfect, it's working, all right? So we do another one, right? So we're gonna go and do a 25, make sure it's working at 25, all right? We'll hit that, 25, and so you guys can see. So that shows that the radar is working properly. That's what we do before and after every shift. All right, we sit here, we'll do that, and then we'll write in our logbook that it's passed. All right, if there's any issues, we'll mark it on our logbook that it had issues there, we'll send it off to get fixed, and then they send it back and it's good to go. I've never had a problem with them. Uh, they test them every six months, and I've had this radar for a very long time, for years, and I've never had any issues with any of them. All right, so they've been working just fine. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. And if I missed anything, you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah, I'm not a RoboCop.
I got family, got friends, I got people who depend on this job that I got I'm not a robocop I got people in the ground and I got people in the system and I miss them, love I'm not a robocop I got family, got friends, I got people who depend on this job that I got I'm not a robocop I got people in the ground and I got people in the system and I miss them, love Yeah, I'm only human and trust me if you cut me I'ma bleed like you Bleed like you